Whether you ever voted for him or not, this American politician left a fascinating legacy behind. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things to know about John McCain. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the achievements, controversies, victories, and losses that defined John McCain's life. From his time serving the United States Navy, to his years in office, to the battle with brain cancer that claimed his life on August 25, 2018. Number 10. Military Awards and Honors Following in the footsteps of his father and grandfather, John McCain became the third person in his family to graduate from the United States Naval Academy in 1958. Although McCain gained a reputation as a rule breaker while at the academy, he went on to have an enduring military career that lasted until 1981. McCain's dedicated service earned him several military decorations and awards over the years. For demonstrating conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity during his time as a prisoner of war, he received a silver star. His actions in Vietnam also resulted in two Purple Hearts, two Legion of Merit awards, three Bronze Stars, the Distinguished Flying Cross, and a Prisoner of War medal. With all its suffering and danger, the world still looks to the example and leadership of America to become another, better place. What greater cause could anyone ever serve? Number 9. Life in Senate after retiring from the Navy, McCain moved to Arizona and began a new career in politics. This Republican was elected to the United States House of Representatives in 1982, and only five years later became the U.S. Senator from Arizona. McCain ran for re-election five times over the next three decades, always walking away victorious by a significant margin. Although McCain was praised by many for some of his bolder actions as Senator, 11 million people live in the shadows and they live here in de facto amnesty, and by God, they are being exploited every single day. There were instances when his judgment was called into question. Nowhere was this more apparent than during the Keating Five scandal, in which McCain faced corruption allegations. Nevertheless, McCain would eventually overcome this hurdle with greater political aspirations. Number 8. He ran for president twice. With nearly two decades of political experience under his belt, McCain announced his candidacy for president of the United States on September 27, 1999. McCain gained support and media attention through his Straight Talk Express bus campaign, but his loss during the South Carolina primary largely derailed his chances of scoring the Republican nomination. Upon withdrawing, he endorsed former opponent and eventual winner George W. Bush. This didn't stop McCain from launching another presidential campaign on April 25, 2007. His 2008 campaign proved more successful, with McCain securing the GOP nomination. And then again, I've worked with members of both parties to fix problems that need to be fixed. That's how I will govern as president. Although he'd ultimately lose this historic election to Democratic nominee Barack Obama, McCain delivered a respectful concession speech and wished the president-elect goodwill. Whether they supported me or Senator Obama, I wish Godspeed to the man who was my former opponent and will be my president. Number 7. His Personal Life While at the Naval Academy, McCain met his future wife, Carol Shep, who was initially married to McCain's classmate, Alistair E. Swanson. Following her divorce, McCain married Shep in 1965, adopting the two children from her previous marriage and welcoming their daughter Sydney into the world one year later. McCain was separated from his family for an extended period upon being captured in Vietnam. Although he was eventually reunited with them, his marriage to Shep never recovered. A year after entering a relationship with heiress Cindy Lou Hensley, McCain's first marriage officially ended. Over time, the couple had a daughter and two sons, as well as a fourth child they adopted from DACA. Number 6. His Complicated Record the Keating Five scandal wasn't the only concerning moment in McCain's career. He actually voted against establishing Martin Luther King Jr. Day in 1983, although McCain did express regret while visiting Memphis in 2008. I was wrong. I was wrong. Some critics claimed that McCain was a warmonger. As he pushed to take military action in Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, Libya, Kosovo, Mali, Nigeria, North Korea, Sudan, and Syria. There was also an instance when a supporter claimed that Obama was, quote, an Arab. He's an Arab. He is not. No man. No man. No? No man. No man. To which McCain replied, quote, he's a decent family man. 
While McCain was applauded for defending Obama, some questioned his choice of words, as being a decent family man isn't really the opposite of being Arab. Number 5. He supported releasing the CIA torture report While not everyone agreed with his interventionist foreign policy, McCain was notably against using torture as an interrogation technique. Having been subjected to such atrocities in Vietnam, McCain demonstrated his strong stance on anti-torture in 2014 when he supported releasing a report detailing the CIA's brutal detention tactics following the September 11th terrorist attacks. Because we gave up much in the expectation that torture would make us safer. Too much. Although many Republicans were against sharing this report, McCain drew from his own experiences during a passionate Senate speech stating that these practices, quote, not only failed their purpose to secure actionable intelligence to prevent further attacks on the U.S. and our allies, but actually damaged our security interests as well as our reputation as a force for good in the world. Number four, he was a harsh critic of Donald Trump. Although they were affiliated with the same political party, McCain was one of the most high-profile Republicans who wasn't afraid to speak out against Trump during his presidential campaign. In 2016, McCain called Trump's comments on national security, quote, uninformed and dangerous. While McCain would later show his support for the GOP nominee, he also allegedly described a room full of Trump supporters as, quote, crazies. I know what crazy is. I know all about crazies. <laughs> These weren't crazy. Trump infamously retaliated by criticizing McCain for getting captured in Vietnam. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. The tension between these two Republicans would persist even after McCain's death, as Trump reportedly rejected a White House statement regarding the late senator. Mr. President, do you have any thoughts on John McCain? Do you have any thoughts at all about John McCain? Do, 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 do you believe John McCain was a hero, sir? Thank you. Nothing at all about John McCain. The fact that McCain supposedly didn't want Trump to attend his funeral is also quite telling. Number three, he was known as a maverick. I think that's why we need to send the maverick from the Senate and put him in the White House, and I'm happy to join him there. Between McCain's stances on torture and Trump, you can see why he earned a reputation as a political maverick. While McCain occasionally supported opinions and ideals that didn't generally align with his party, he was still widely known for his conservative views. I think I would not be running for president if I didn't think that there need to be significant changes made in the Republican Party. I would leave the task to someone else. Because of this, it was debated whether or not McCain's maverick status was justified, especially after Sarah Palin overused the word during the 2008 vice presidential debate. Let's talk about the maverick John McCain is. And again, I love him. He's been a maverick on some issues, but he has been no maverick on the things that matter to people's lives. He voted four to five times for George Bush's budget, which put us a half a trillion dollars in debt this year. Speaking of the Alaska governor, McCain's decision to have Palin as his running mate was highly contested due to her lack of experience. Although they didn't win, it's been argued that Palin's unlikely political career paved the way for Donald Trump to run for president. Number two, he helped save Obamacare. McCain and Obama didn't always see eye to eye particularly when it came to health care. In 2017, McCain encouraged Congress to replace Obama's Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. Just a month following this statement, McCain was diagnosed with glioblastoma, a form of brain cancer. Less than two weeks after McCain received brain surgery, he returned to the Senate where a vote to repeal Obamacare would soon take place. McCain surprised many when he rejected the repeal, with the final vote coming in at 49 to 51 in favor of Obamacare. Of all the decisions McCain made throughout his political career, this is the one that people typically point to when describing him as a maverick. Number one, he was a Vietnam prisoner of war. During his 23rd bombing mission on October 26, 1967, McCain's aircraft was shot down over Hanoi, Vietnam. Upon ejecting from his A-4E Skyhawk, he suffered arm and leg fractures while almost drowning in Chuk Bak Lake. When McCain was found by the North Vietnamese, he was taken to Hua Lo prison and endured severe torture with little medical care. McCain remained a prisoner of war for five and a half years, although he was offered early release due to his father's commander status. Admiral John S. McCain, Jr. As you know, we are living in a troubled world. McCain refused to accept, however, unless the soldiers captured before him were released too. On March 14, 1973, McCain was finally freed and returned home, where he was hailed as a patriot. Commander John McCain. 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.